A life's tale. James and Alan shoot the shit with Neil Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this guy was going How's to it going, going, everybody? <laughs> Good morning, West Lobian! <laughs> hey, here you go. Hello, See when the red light's on? It's on you, brother. Oh, I, I hate being on camera, man. <laughs> I'm a, is it, you sure it's on me, aye? Aye. Aye, that's cool. Right. Hi, gents. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to the Five Fifers Thank podcast. Thank you very much. I'm such a big fan. Oh, start um, throwing your sticky <laughs> pants my way, please. Yes. I had to get you on this podcast from the fucking day I seen you walk into a certain room. Okay. We were at the s- the two boys for the scheme, the um did a filmmaking thing. Neil came into that late, I will say. But fuck boy, did he leave a mark. <laughs> Skid mark. <Aye. laughs> right in the leg, so But it was. anyway, Neil came into that like a fucking whirlwind and it was a day that everybody was late and Neil walked through the door and he walked in and he did the one thing that I was really fucking delighted that you did because you. you walked around the whole fucking room, introduced yourself to every motherfucker in the room. <laughs> and half of us didn't know each other, and we'd been gone for fucking weeks. <laughs> so when you did that, it sparked me a memory that I got for him. Right. Where when he was in his early acting thing, we what was the guy's name? Danny. Danny. Danny, Danny Boyle. Boy. Danny, Danny, Danny Boyle. Right. Where they all chucked a bag at each other bag to fucking to get each other's names. Oh, right, I get you. Aye, right. So you did that. It prompted that memory. I then said to Mark, "Mark, you got a fucking bag that we can." <laughs> because the only name I knew was yours. Right. Okay. Because <laughs> you walked in the fucking door and introduced it. Okay. Anyway, Neil Hardy. Thank you, everybody. The Hello. way the way you conducted yourself that day, I just thought, I don't know. He'll tell you. I meet folk. I see folk, and I'm like, "Fuck, there's a story there." <laughs> and I just knew there was. And and you had asked, "Oh, was it all right?" And everything like that. And I was like, "No, you were fucking spot on. Exactly how you had to be." You introduced yourself. Everybody knew who you were. Beautifully done. Oh, cheers, thank you. Because you, you, you felt fucking bad about it. Oh, like yeah, I was shitting myself, aye, to be honest with you. But you were fucking bob on, mate. Absolutely. Way, my way of dealing with the nerves. Aye. Well, fucking worked. Worked a treat. <laughs> worked a treat. So, Neil, I wanted to then introduce you to Alan, who met you, obviously, coming, because Alan popped in and dropped in at a few things. Because uh, I've got a couple of wee books here that I want to give to you. Okay. Which is stuff that... It's Alan's material, we've been working on that for fucking, or he's been working on it a lifetime, uh, but we've been punting these wee books out okay. over the last sort of year, I would say. Um, and I'm old as fuck now, by the way, so I need to get the glasses on. Aye, so Building <laughs> Barriers is book one, Exposing the Foundations is book two, they're yours to take home and thank read. Thank you very much. All right, you the key. Oh, thank you very much, We're going to take in the next round where oh, you can man. win a fucking ball. Oh, <laughs> have a look at what you could have won. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, you were what? getting a t-shirt, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> We've known enough of them, so you're uh-huh. fucked. You're getting two books. Aye, well, I still want my t shirt though. Aye. Just I'll hold you accountable. You can that, look right. at a cup or two. Uh, uh, right. You're yeah. take one. So you I'm see. allowed to look at the t shirt, but I'm not allowed to look at the cup. cup. Ooh. How fucking cheeky. Look at shit, Craig. <laughs> look at that. Look at that, bastard. <laughs> take the red one, my favourite colour, anyways. So. <laughs> <laughs> they're no gifts, by the <laughs> way. There's only two on the table, right? They're Just the, they're, listen, there's only they're, two. They're the prototypes, mate. They've. they've they don't know even in production that that's prototypes sitting in front of you. Sorry, open a can of juice. Oh, there. fucking go for it. Make yourself comfortable. Right. Uh, oh, so, Neil, me. where do we start with you and your story? Because I know you've let it go bits, but I've purposely avoided you, as I was saying in the van. Didn't want to meet you for coffee and tea up to now because I wanted you to get the story out of the day for you and Alan to sit and dissect each other and let him dissect dun, dun, your dun, dun, story. Dun, get um, it, chill. Because dun. this is what he does, this part, maybe. Getting your shite, as Alan would say, get it up, get it sorted, get it to fuck. This is his <laughs> thing. Sorted, the podcast is what fuck. I love because Fucking I love helping help. people. So like I said in the van, if somebody hears your story, they maybe have a path to follow that might help them. Mm-hmm. So if you didn't mind, just, just who the fuck is Neil Hardy? Man? Oh, I've been asking you myself know, that. You know, because you, well. Every but, day. <laughs> aye. I mean, I mean, the guy I see is as happy, jovial, in your face happy wee guy that's just <laughs> fucking wanting a laugh. Aye, aye. You know, but I've obviously heard snippets of you talking to other people. I've heard little bits. You were going to write a book. I don't know where we start with that. Is it maybe you tell us a bit about your past? What brought you to where you are now? Mm-hmm. I know, I think maybe, I hate to say it, but so many folk go back to when it all began and all that push. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather just you told us who you are and What's your, what you're all about, you know? Well, my name's Neil. Um, I'm a local lad. Grew up in West Lothian all my life. I like right. to say that I'm uh, Mr. West Lothian. 
without the pecs, <laughs> obviously. Put a camera on you there. You know what I mean? Course. Without the pecs. Because <laughs> uh, I've stayed all over West Lothian. I've uh, been married three times. <laughs> Can't wait to meet the fourth wife. That'll be fun. Yeah. Um, I but thought you met her. Did I not no. see you with a wife on a <laughs> film making? Oh, well, I no, no, that's another wife. <laughs> that's a scary wife. Aye. Um, but I, um, I don't know. Just grew up around here and uh, suffered trauma as a youngster. Um, Boom! We're in the room. <laughs> right, you mentioned it. <laughs> suffered trauma as a youngster and um, come from a big family, but. I don't know. I've, you know, I've been thinking about this for a few days, what I would say, how I would go about saying it and things like that. Um, so you definitely want to dive into that part of your Whatever, past. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm open with, with stuff anyway, but obviously my trauma stems from, like, through my mother. Um, and sadly, she passed away last year. Um, we hadn't spoke for on and off for quite a lot of years and things like that. Um, so I don't know what to... Speak ill of the dead or anything like that, but at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, what a fucking waste of time it's been. Just there's no talking and all the things that we went through, and and the, my mum suffered for trauma when she was young as well, and uh, she she obviously had a, a, a no really good relationship with her parents. That's mine and uh, Aidan's grandparents. I'm obviously Aidan Martin's biggest, uh, big biggest, the big cousin, big cousin, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest cousin he's got. <laughs> Is he uh, no taller? <laughs> well, in height, aye, but no in build, you know. Ah. Oosh. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I, my, my cousin was, uh, was in the process of, uh, you know, going through his life and addiction and things like that. And we were all kind of going through our own phases in life as well. Um, once Aidan wrote his book and things like that, it kind of, I'd picked up, I was going to write a book and then I wasn't there, I was picking it up, putting it down, picking it mm. up over the years. Right. And just getting on with life. Um, how did the book, like, so seeing as you've touched on that, how did that book hit you when you read it for the first time? Or did you know prior or did you just read it like a lot of raw? I mean, I knew stuff um, that had happened in his life, but there was elements there that I never knew. Uh -huh. uh, certainly, I don't want to give too much away about his book, but obviously there's certain things in the book that I knew something, but I didn't actually know the full mm. extent of it. So it was a shock when I read it. Right. Um, it was quite weird as well because you're reading about people who are in your family and all that as well yeah. and your grandparents and stuff like that so it was just like the taxi driver aye, aye, yeah, aye. Yeah, yeah. I mean my granddad was just one funny guy you know what I mean Yeah. he was one of these guys where even if the joke was shit you yeah. know he would go <laughs> Might have been a juice start slapping his leg and all that, and it, yeah. just the way he delivered it, you were like, That was pretty pish, but I'm still giving you that. It was yeah. a laugh away, you know. He was just a character. It's good to hear your thought on your granddad because obviously I've read the book, I've read the book, so we've got one opinion mm -hmm. of him, and mm -hmm. here we're hearing another one. That's oh, I mean, he was, a, he, was a, he was a funny man. Uh, he used to tell he, he used to tell stories all the time. I mean, I always laughed when I was younger. I, he, he told me he was in the Boer War. <laughs> so being a young lad, I didn't look up when the Boer War was and try and marry the age to my granddad to when the Boer War was to figure out he's taking a piss. So, I mean, I was away in school telling everybody my granddad was in the Boer War <laughs> and it always prided me on the fact that we must have all been as thick as mince because not one person fucking contradicted that or went, your granddad couldn't have been in the Boer War because the Boer War was in such and such a time, you know what I mean? Right. So he was always a character pulling your chain. Every time you seen him, he was always up for a laugh and carry on and all. So it was good fun. Yeah. Having him as a granddad, aye. Right. So, trauma, what, what's that all about? Enough about Aiden. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, my, my granny was bipolar. And my mum had issues in that growing up. And uh, I'm really nervous talking about my mum and that. I was speaking to my cousins and that. And uh, just saying, like, what? You know, I've talked to somebody and they bother if we were in the room just ourselves, tell you about it and that. But now I'm put on a podcast. Aye. I'm scared that, you know what I mean? Because, like, once I say it out loud and stuff like that, then it's out there and my mum's passed away and I'm going to piss off my brothers and sisters and, you know what I mean? But are you, though, if they know it? Do you think, have you Well, I mean, I'm the oldest or? of seven, uh. so um, I found out when I was about 15, 14, 15, that I was adopted, but I was, obviously, my dad's not my biological father. Um, I've always thought me and my mum were special, you know, we had the, we were shorter with black hair and my brothers and sisters were all taller and blondie brown hair and stuff like that um, but over the years there'd been stuff growing up and just try to piece things together it's like thinking back at arguments back in the day and the way things were uh, it, 
I just grew up fucking messed up all the time. Just you mm. know, I often think if you you know if I was encouraged me to um, believe in myself more and uh, achieve anything I want to be able to achieve, then I would have maybe no wasted so much years in this fucking cycle of being a victim uh, and a victim of my own stuff as well. Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. dealing with the trauma at all. Um, it's a bit difficult. Relax, <laughs> it's, man. It's, it's brother, just, brother. I'm, I'm nervous, man. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Don't don't be nervous. Just if it doesn't, if you don't want to say anything, don't you? Ah, no, I, 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 I talk about anything and everything, really. But uh, at the end of the day, I it's been difficult um, growing up and no seeing my parents all the time and no feeling like there was the, the love or the the kind of protection and the not you know the the umbrella. The family all over, you know, looking after you and stuff like that. It was so, always quite hard for me. So would you say then that it was not knowing that you were adopted? I'm, I'm kind of trying to piece that part of it together. So you didn't know you were adopted? No. But, and none of your brothers and sisters well, would I know mean, that the, either? The, the, right. the, I had this with my brother a few years back. Right. Um, the, if they were younger, they wouldn't know either. Well, I mean, right. like there's, my mum my mom had seven children, so there was right. I was the firstborn. Right. Um, and she came up here from England uh, with Aidan's mum and all that, my gran and granddad and stuff. Right. And they met my my dad who adopted me on the fruit and veg van, local Hardy's fruit and veg van going around West Lothian. Right. And um, obviously I'd been born and stuff and they, they met, they fell in love and they've got married and stuff and my dad adopted me and things like right. that. And they, you know, my mum passed away last year, I think they were just about to um, celebrate 40 something years married, you right. know what I mean? So. Been, I mean, certainly, it's, it's not like what people are like these days. Aye. So neither, neither <clears throat> parent was biological mother or father. So my father's not my biological father, but my mother's my biological mother. He adopted you when yeah, he got. He, he got adopted you me. Yeah. When he got and together. Then they right. had six right. kids together as well. Right. Got you. So got my mum ended right. up having it in uh, stages of like three children that grew up together. So it was me, my brother, and my sister. And right. then obviously, then a brother and sister uh, years apart, and then another brother and uh, two sisters year apart, right. years apart. So. My mother was actually pregnant the same time as my first wife and my brother's uh, partner. <laughs> so I've got a daughter who's got a, an auntie the same age as her right. and a cousin the same age as her. Wow. And so my, auntie, my sister's got a niece and a nephew the same age as her. Right. Uh, well, my, my, <coughs> my youngest daughter, my grandson has an auntie that's only seven years older than him. Right. So... So, I know that world. Well, I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, it's uh, I know only I only know what it's like growing up with my my brother and sister, mm -hmm. and that's the oldest ones. Right. Because I was at the house for a young age, so right. I never really I, I never lived with the other ones. Do you know right. what I mean? I never right. lived in a house with them. I've never got to know them really. Right. Uh, there was a lot of bitterness when my mum died, and um, some of my sisters were pissed off, and it took me a long time. I was <laughs> I'm fair generation. You got fucking leathered. Aye. You know what I mean? You got leathered, like, and if you were even step out of line, you got leathered. And I, I, I suffered for, I don't know if I was a wee arse or whatever, do you know what I mean? No. Half the time, I don't think I deserved it, but I'm just really aware that I'm talking about my parents and stuff like that, and I didn't want to disrespect anybody. I can hear my cousin going, fuck them, do you know what I mean? Like, they didn't right. fucking back you and all that, do you know what I mean? But I can, I get it. Well, let's just, if I, I can... Alan and I can both see it's it's hard. Mm -hmm. So if we jump off of that and maybe back to it, so you are writing a book. Mm -hmm. That was one of the first things that I noticed. You were carrying notes and stuff like that. Um, so that book that you're writing, I'm sure you let go to me in the caravan that day we were doing the filming that part of that's about that mm -hmm. early trauma. Mm -hmm. the, so... Where are you going to go with the book? Because if you put that in black and white, same as you're talking here, mm -hmm. it's going to be out there. Well, the thing was, I found out, um, I hadn't spoke to my mother of that for a while. Seems to be she's got mummy issues, but um, it's a thing. Um, Aidan had been talking to my mother on um, Facebook. Right. And my auntie didn't know that they'd been talking on Facebook. So Aidan's mentioned that uh, to my mother that I'm going to be writing a book. Right. And I hadn't spoke to my mum for a few years and <laughs> just out of the blue she threatened to uh, sue me if I mentioned her in the book. Right. Yeah. Uh, mention any of my brothers and sisters in the book and all that kind of stuff. I thought, well, I only know the 
one brother and sister that I grew up with. Right. I can't comment on the rest of them because I never lived with them. Right, fair enough. No, I could just know they're my brother and sister. But ever since I found out that I was adopted and stuff, my world fell apart. I mean, I've I've got four four children biologically myself and four mothers. Right. So three of them were wives. Right. And one of them was a girlfriend. So I've got one each of them. It's, I call it my pursuit of happiness. I was married at 20, 30 and 40, essentially. Right. 20 definitely. 31, 42 or something like that. Ah. But, um, and I adopted my son um, as well, my Aiden. So I adopted him as well. Um, wife number two's uh, sister's baby. And How could you know when you've got a cousin called Aiden? Uh, well, that's <laughs> it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> So it's like, I'm kind of forgetting where I'm going with this, but it's... Um, you are just talking about writing about mum and you'd fell out and she was going Aye, to, so I know, thought to myself, right, she she's, she's threatening to sue me and yeah. all that, and I thought to myself, all right, okay, well, you must be panicking then because obviously these memories that happened and the things that happened were real. Right. And, you know, as traumatic as it was for me, um, I thought to myself, you must be panicking then if you're actually trying to say, oh, you'll right. sue me and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? I can't actually picture putting my kids through some of the torture and that, you know what I mean? My mum was very, I think as a narcissist, I think that's what she was, I'm not right. sure in the, the terms of it, but she was a very bitter woman at times with stuff and she would say nasty shit and that as well. Yeah. She, but she'd done some nasty shit day as well, do you know what I mean? So let's go to that very closest interaction with your with your mum, if you like. And how did you fall out with her? Well, I mean, from a young age... Um, when I, when I found out I was adopted and then I started getting older and all that, I started to piece together the, the things that had happened to me when I was younger. The most traumatic thing for me was when I was sitting on the stairs uh, playing with my action man and I heard my mum and dad arguing. Uh, my what age do you think you were there? Well, we left there in primary four, so I've got to be in and between... Seven, eight, seven, eight, aye, something like yeah. that. I'm just sitting on the stairs yeah. and I can hear them arguing. My wee brother's playing on the stairs as well. He's in the hall or something like that. And uh, I can hear them arguing and screaming and stuff like that. Uh, as, as I got older, I thought that was maybe about me that were arguing and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know what it was entirely, but she just came bounding up the stairs and just as well she keeps walking, she's just dragged me backwards by the hair. And she's just screaming, you know what I mean? I'm holding on to the back of my head, I'm fucking just flipping out. She just throws me on the bed and straddles me and just starts fucking smothering me with a pillow. Like, I fucking hate you, you're a bastard and all that. And it was just horrible. Like, I remember just, just, just trying to scream and trying to toss my head about in the pillow. She's took the pillow back off and she's put it back down again. <clears throat> and, eh... Uh, uh, if she hadn't I took the pillow off the second time like I was dead because I was just about to draw my last breath and she just got up and walked out now that's stuff I didn't mind telling somebody but hearing my mouth in this scenario it's, it's scaring me because I'm fearing in case my dad gets upset pissed off my brothers or sisters get pissed off but I mean at the end of the day it's my life it's what I experienced you know what I mean yeah. and I just think to myself I went and met my real father when I was younger eh, when I was about 17 and he walked into the room doing an England and he was my double. Right. And I was like, I must have been a constant reminder to her. It, what it was like, I mean, by the time my mum was 20, she had three children, me and my brother and my sister. Why did she leave the original biological guy? Why did she come up here? Well, I don't know. I mean, that was the other thing. Growing up, I was always getting, I never knew much about them. When I found out when I was about 14, 15, I started asking questions. And there would be a wee snippet of something said by a grandparent. Or something said by an uncle, do you know what I mean? And then you were like, what, kind of getting try to ideas and stuff. But I just think, I think they, they hadn't moved. Um, I think they just wanted to move up here from England to get away. I'd found out for when my... Your, your biological father never come up. I know, I'd, 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 I'd found out later on that he'd actually came up and they tried and to make her go yet. Yeah, but then I don't know how long, maybe in what months or whatever. You when, when your mum and your stepdad got together? I think I was only about one or something like that. Right. So I was, they, I was they, really young. They never gave it much. Nah, way. nah. I mean, they were only young. My mum was 15 when she had me. She. So she was 15 when she had me. You know what I mean? So she was, and her birthday's February, so she's had me at 15. So she's obviously been pregnant at 14. You know what I mean? Um, but I found out 
uh, I was like, <laughs> their family can be pretty mad. Uh, always when somebody died in the family, there'd be some kind of fucking revelation. Some revelation at the funeral. Like, mm, his fucking dad and all that. Do you know what I mean? You'd hear something, you'd be like, what is it with your family and revealing everything at funerals and shit like that? But it's no new. Definitely no new. But uh, I, it's, uh, I, f- I found out like they moved up and they tried to make a go at it and things like that, but then it, they, they broke up. But I, as growing up, trying to get anything from my past or try to figure out where I come from or anything like that was always just hushed up, do you know what I mean? It was never really told me any facts or truths or anything like that. The mind games was always a good gym because I'm a sensitive wee soul, do you know what I mean? But you play mind games with me, it's it's, are, my fucking head goes crazy, Kim. I mean, it's like... <coughs> I'm de- I'm definitely bipolar or ADHD or something. I'm waiting on you diagnosis know, you, for you stuff. Don't get you know any what I mean? Fucking badges here. No, <laughs> I no, no. Nothing. But definitely something wrong there. You know what I mean? So I've obviously uh, uh, the way I describe There's my brain. No man wrong. Well, I think if you're, is, but if you're I? in an environment where you're constantly being berated, you've got a man who he possibly didn't like you. Mm-hmm. You're a secret mm-hmm. that you didn't even fucking know the truth. Mm-hmm. Everybody else around the boot you does. Mm-hmm. She resents that fact. She can only resent you mm-hmm. because of what he's saying. I'm saying, not saying he's mm-hmm. instigated, but there had to be something there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can feel in that. Mm-hmm. That sensitivity is the exact same as what I had. Mm-hmm. I could feel it. That's why when it comes to love and relationships, you'll not have a fucking clue. Because no. you didn't even know what it is. It's I can't even make it you. work at all. <laughs> no, because you didn't even know what it is. Because all you know is this resentment feeling, this fucking hatred towards mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. But you're baffled like... I don't know what it is. Aye. Mine's was I was always a cheeky wee bastard. Mm-hmm. Cheeky, yes, bastard, one hundred percent. But mm-hmm. I didn't find out till I was twenty-one. Mm-hmm. That's why I was hated mm-hmm. because they knew I was in the biological, mm-hmm. but they they pretended for whatever fucking reason I don't know. When it actually fully come out, it only seemed to be me that didn't know. Everybody else mm-hmm. knew, mm-hmm. but the feelings. That's what drove me mm-hmm. to other places and the other places I shouldn't have been in. I shouldn't mm-hmm. have walked through the doors, mm-hmm. but I did like a fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. But it's the only, it's the way that you deal with it. Because right now, that guy, that happy guy that walks into the room, I'm him, I'm him, I'm You want to be seen, you want to be recognised, you want to be noticed. Why? Because you never were. Mm-hmm. So you're trying to flip it over. Mm-hmm. Reverse it back. Mm-hmm. Go back. Why she had the pillow on your face? You're saying that, oh no, I didn't want to offend anybody, I didn't want to offend anybody. What if she had carried on? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't be offending any country. No, you wouldn't would they be, be here, here. I, I know. Exactly. I know. That's, see when we pass over, mm-hmm. see that baggage? Mm-hmm. That's us. The wee man in the book will show you at the very fucking end. You've untangled yourself. Mm-hmm. You just need the last wee bit. Break away from it. Because mm-hmm. it's no your shit to carry. Mm-hmm. That feeling. I've been carrying all this about for years, <laughs> honest to God. It's been like a fucking noose around my neck. I mean, I've tried, to kill, myself. I've tried to kill myself numerous times. There, on your left mm-hmm. hand. See that? Left hand. The book. Mm-hmm. Look at it. Freedom. Exactly. See the bag of shite? Mm-hmm. It's not fucking yours to carry. You've got a flight case, and inside that flight case is all the things that makes you the guy that you are, the parent you are to your kids. Why? Because that is who you're now becoming, because you know how not to do it. Mm-hmm. You know you when to walk away for your kids. You certainly know you wouldn't put a fucking pillow over their head. No, what the fuck? No. See that baggage? That's theirs. Mm-hmm. They get it. Bullseye. That's yours. Mm-hmm. That's safe. You're fucking taking that with you. You're absolved it. It's Aye. never been yours. So anything you've done in the process of trying to weigh up the options, deal with this, deal with that. I'll take some drugs. I'll go fucking nuts. I'll, 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 I'll just look for comfort in that, lassie, because maybe that's what I'm looking mm-hmm. for. Oh, no, she's pregnant now. Oh, no, she doesn't like me. I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> Boat. <laughs> Every fucking time it's fight because you can't find it. Aye. That's what they'll tell you it's flight or fight. Mm-hmm. I'd say, you know, now's the time to fight because mm-hmm. there's nothing there. There's mm-hmm. nothing there. There's no demon. Your ma's not even there. Mm-hmm. The resentment for other people. Can we do? Take the bag and you go here. You fucking carry it. You do it. Aye. I'm sick of fucking carry it. Aye, aye. I mean, there's just that many stories that I was. I was going to write. I wasn't going to write a book to release. I was going to just write it for my children. You know what I mean? So when I pass you away. Well, that's it. I mean, that's why I've put Dude, it... before to, you fucking pass away, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. can ask you the questions. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. I've, I've, I've always put it down, started it again, because just more life experiences got in the way, you know what I mean? Try to survive every day. I mean, it's been difficult as fuck. I'm you say to yourself I'm not gonna that lie. you draw. Mm. That is my drawing, and that's the cathartic thing that I find in dealing with my fucking life. Everything that was in it. Yes, the events, yes, the traumas, and they're all shit. 
by 21, I find out he's not your dad. Mm-hmm. Oh, just another wee bit to put around my fucking neck. Mm-hmm. Well, fuck you. No, I'm not carrying it anymore. So I rebelled. Mm-hmm. I come right out here and I walked into this other one where I then become a proud father mm-hmm. for 28 years. Then I find out it was a fucking lie. Mm-hmm. And the mother knew for the day one that I wasn't responsible for this okay. thing. That you, the shit that I carried through that whole 28 fucking years was enough to put the average guy over. But I already had a t shirt for when I was 21, finding out that my father wasn't my father. And everybody knew. So that lie, verse in 28 years, he lied. That's 49 years I lived them this umbrella of fucking lies. Mm-hmm. And I refused to carry it. Mm-hmm. So me doodling it is the way that I've done it. Mm-hmm. You can do it. My kids can look at it and say, Dad, what, what does that mean? Well, I can tell you exactly what it means. Your book, write the book, let them see it. Then they can ask you the questions. Mm-hmm. Then he went to your deed and then they no, read no, it. No, 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 no. I didn't even. What I was. I don't even know where I was going with that because I'm not even going to lie, guys. I'm absolutely proper nervous here. Like, you know what I mean? Then he'd be nervous. Um, I, was, I didn't mind telling people my story, but now that I'm actually broadcasting it out there and other people will get to see it and stuff like that, it's, uh, it's hard because. See, see in the bag that you're carrying, mm-hmm. right? I'll tell you what's in there now. Shame, mm-hmm. guilt, mm-hmm. hurt and pain. Mm-hmm. Not fucking one of them are yours because you've never done anything. Mm-hmm. So why are you carrying it? I don't know, honestly. Why, why do you want to hold on to it then? I don't know what to hold on to it. Get to fuck then. Aye. Get away. How do you get it to fuck though? Eat a biscuit. <laughs> Eat a biscuit. <laughs> Get a go? disco biscuit down your neck. <laughs> Aye, drugs. That was, that was always a good one for me. Exactly. <laughs> drugs, was always, <laughs> drugs was always a good one. Hide Do you know fit. the best thing is, is to talk about it amongst strangers? And guess what you're doing? Mm-hmm. You're talking about it amongst fucking strangers. Strangers, huh? It mm-hmm. becomes easier. And the biggest thing that I would tell you is absolve yourself because it, it's no yours to carry. It's never been yours. It's easy to hide behind comedy. And... Mate, That's I've why got, I never said fuck off for the first got, 14 got, minutes. I've got, a good, mm-hmm. I've got a good way of making people laugh. But at the same time, I explained to James when he's giving me that praise and saying that you, you walked into that room, you, you took over the room. And there was a presence there. That was my way of dealing with the nerves. It just, I'm, like, I'm walking into this room thinking, to become a these are all fucking people who have been You'll doing have this for... flung out the school. school well, I, was, I did uh, get you the, Yeah, get you the class because you're a disruption. Like, Neil, Neil, the room, I like, walked in the room and sat Mars. Mm-hmm. Didn't say fucking nothing. Anybody. Well, when I walked in the room, I'm like, because <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, these are all guys who have been doing this for weeks and weeks. Uh-uh. I mean, maybe established actors. No, I don't I'm, think I'm trying I spoke to spoke psychologically to him, figure out who's in the room and who, who, I'm, who I'm amongst. Do you know, I don't think I had a conversation thought, with anyone until in. you come. Really? Because I think I just came in and sat and really? I watched and I listened and I watched and I listened. When I seen you fucking introduce yourself to everybody, <laughs> I think I started talking to folk. Right, right. So, I mean, when we were, when we were, when we were on the set of um, uh, the monster, uh, monster within, Aye, and we yeah. were talking in the caravan that day, yeah. I was, I was, I was blown away with what you were saying. Uh, I went so home. True. I told my cousin, uh, Aiden's big brother Shane. Uh, I was like, man, you want to hear what they're all saying? They're all like, man, you fucking lit up the room when you walked in that room. You got presents, blah blah. And he's like, I've been fucking telling you this for years, <laughs> and it goes and takes for some people at the bloody college to Strangers. Be, believe it. Strangers. I said, but you're my family, you know what I mean? It's like you saying that to me is kind of like you might have to say that, you know what I mean? It's a value. See, the second booklet, the booklet will tell you that there's an education that people can't buy. You have that, mm-hmm. whether you want it or no. Mm-hmm. You, you can't, you know, if, if somebody gets to a level there, you actually go one step above them because they kind of go back to where mm-hmm. you've been. They've never been able to deal with the things you've dealt with. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them is feelings. That's mm-hmm. where words, you're writing a book, it's not really going to do it. You could draw it in a picture and I'll read it. I'll be able to read your picture. Mm-hmm. I can see through the lines. I'm not looking at the wording because that's bullshit. That's somebody mm-hmm. else's. No, you, you didn't know words. You weren't born with words. Mm-hmm. You picked them up. But see the art? comes right out of there. Right out the head. I can see what you're trying to tell me mm-hmm. through art. A lot well, like I was saying to you earlier, I mean, I used to do a lot of drawing when I was younger. Um, obviously, getting married and trying to do what I think's right in life, and that is get married, have children. And all that, all that jazz, what they say you've got to do when you grow up, become a big boy. Um, only for always carrying that baggage around. Um, there's the baggage and then there's you shelf and what actually keeps you well, I, sane I, then you become insane because it doesn't work you it's know, ruined fuck. it's ruined I mean I've, I've probably ruined a lot of my own shit just through all the trauma that I've been carrying do you know what I mean it's, it's 100% um, uh, the got, way. right now you've, you've got three failed marriages 
which is four relationships if there's four kids that are all failed. No, I mean, there's three ex-wives out there that fucking absolutely hate my guts. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. It's like, well, this, thanks this for is that. The, but this is the thing, though. What did they hate? Because if they're hating you, the individual, mm -hmm. it's you never created that individual. That's a persona that you've put on mm -hmm. through the trauma of what you've went through in your life. There was a stage before that probably went over your face, you were probably just happy with Laddie playing with his fucking action man or his tadger on the stairs. When they made a difference. Mm -hmm. Bang. You think that you survived that. You never. No, no, no. She killed the wee guy mm -hmm. on that day. Mm -hmm. What come out is what's sitting here. Mm -hmm. You need to get back to him. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the well, only way to do it. I tried that uh, no long ago. Uh, you've got to end up making me cry by the way. Go for it. Neil, I have five kids over uh -huh. three mothers uh -huh. for a very similar no knowing who the fuck or what the fuck I, I mean, uh, my, I've got, I see my, 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 uh, my, my daughters all the time. They're always overstaying and having a laugh at their dads. I've not seen my wee boy for two and a half years. Um, I think uh, the way things are going at the moment, like there's a lot of women are uh, using the system to fuck guys over. And oh, uh, I've got two. Give me a cup, the, give me a the, cup, the, 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 me the, a cup the, the, here, because let just, me fucking assure you. I've got a domestic abuse charge against me. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I've no seen oh, yeah. hey, I've got, go, I've got that cup. He's going to have another cup. Yes, someone in all the cups. You get a cup. Because that shit creak. And we're on the fucking same boat. The experience I went through in the last two years, I was with my third wife, and she was basically telling me she had Elos, Dan Loss, and things that were wrong with her. And, you know, she was ill and things like that. She'd stand up at the chair, and her wee legs would go all like like blotchy and she'd shake and all this kind of thing i used to just like get the blanket out for her make her toast and that didn't get me wrong i did lose the rag a few times but it was just because she was sitting there on her phone all the time mm. no helping out at home or anything like that but then i had to watch her kind of say to me things like she's going to appointments at the hospital and things like that. it turns out she was running down to the police station and saying things like oh he's he's, he's a bad husband he's controlling and all that mm. i thought if anybody knows me they'll know i'm not a controlling person do you know what i mean i'm no there's the big one that's to go back that's where you need to start you already says you don't know who the fuck you are so mm -hmm. how the fuck can somebody know you mm -hmm. see this this is going to give people an insight of who you mm -hmm. are so these silly fucking women will probably be sitting there saying you never fucking tell me that mm -hmm. it's the whole point no i mean survivors then they tell the stories victims do survivors mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. They put a face on it and they try and mix and mingle. I have, I have, I have told my exes and that things that I grew up with in life and things like that. At one point, that third wife, she was like, "Oh, you need to keep things to yourself because you're, you're obviously like you're open up too much to people and people are like it. And I thought, well, you're the one who's exploited it the most because longest relationship I've ever had as well was uh, ten years together. And we had a beautiful boy, but I, I was, I, I went for the snap. I, when I first met her, I was like, I'm going for the snap. I says, I've been married twice and I've had two women say, they'll never stop me if you see my kids. And they've went out their way to fucking stop, stop me seeing my kids. Yeah. And, and growing up with that in your twenties and not having parents to like be able to turn to them and just, like mm -hmm. it was never like, for me, it was never, after finding out I was adopted and all that and everything, I just, I didn't ever want, I didn't get feel right going around to my parents' house. No. I never ever felt welcomed, I never felt like it, it was my house or I was part of the family and then looking at them all looking different, acting different. My mum would fucking pride herself, even just a few years ago, she'd walk past and she'd, she'd go out with her hand and I'd fucking, I'd jump, I'd flinch. And other brothers and sisters would be like wondering what's going on and she'd be like, ah, <laughs> still got it, can't still, I mean? still got, got it, yeah. still got it and that made that bastard flinch and all that and you're like fucking, oh you're fucked, didn't Because I know she had big rings on, she'd walk, walk by you, poof. Right in the kidneys, you'd be like, what the fuck was that for? She's like, you fucking looked like you were up to no good, came. I mean, for nothing. And I was like, well, fuck's sake. But, uh, <clears throat> but it makes you the person that you are. Aye. Because you know what you're not going to do? Mm. Walk past your partner or your kids and punch them in the no, fucking ribs because you know what that. that feels like. Aye. Exactly. So the perversion that I keep fucking going on about is that you've learned something through that. Aye. How the fuck can that be good? Because it fucking is. Because well, you become the better person. Aye. It's taught you something, but it's also going to teach your kids something because it's now in their genetics. No, to fucking punch people in the ribs. Why? Because you never done it to them. But at the same so time, at the same time, I'm sad. I'm sad for that wee boy inside me who just 
It's totally that, that shit. No, once I mean, you read them, there is, there is hiding behind the wall. You bring ah, them I just, out. I just honestly feel bad it's for that. Easy. Well, let me tell you something there on what you said. One of your partners says people will exploit you. I'm exploiting you so you can get back to the wee boy. Aye. Well, I mean, at the end. Where you talk about it? You're going well, to I mean, back. at the end of the day, if, uh, just in case you're, uh, if you ever get to hear this anyway, George, I love you so much, wee man, and I missed you, and I've missed you every day. I uh, love my daughters and my other sons and that. Talk to him. <laughs> I miss you, George. I really do. Um, I think about you every day. And uh, I can't wait to see you again. Hopefully I'll get to see you again. Um, I came out of that court expecting that I got a two-year non-harassment order on that. The judge, the judge is in on the game. The lawyers are in on the game. They're all fucking in on the game. You'll only get Nobody gets a fuck about you, honestly. And the way I've learnt for it is like, the, the way the system is, they think all guys are domestic abusers. They're just yep. waiting on you fucking up. The, you know They're the just basically waiting on you fucking up. It's like a production line of guys just going through the fucking court. So it's just a system. Aye. It's a revolving door. It keeps going. And my ex-wife, she, my ex-wife turned around to me one day and she was at her pals. My ex-wife would go out for a drink with her pals and no fucking come home for two days. <laughs> and you're like, ah, how? You're a cunt. Though. And I'm like, I'm, how can I be controlling? <laughs> all I'd ever thought about was like thinking she was all right. You know what I mean? Then I met somebody after I'd split up with my wife and I fell heavy in love with this lassie. And we were obviously um, good together. But then it never worked out. And I just thought, fuck it. So what makes you think it was love then? If it never, ever worked, what makes you think it was love? It I, couldn't have been love because you wouldn't have fell out with them. Well, I mean, I, I don't know what, what it is, to be honest with you. Do you know what you. it is? You didn't even know what it is. Aye. That's the biggest thing. You don't know what fucking love is. As mm-hmm. foreigners sung it to you in the mm-hmm. fucking 80s, you still want to know what it is. Aye. It's the street we need fucking name. Aye. It's a feeling. Aye. And because you never had that feeling when you were young, mm-hmm. You didn't know what it is. So I'm always going it's to be searching really. for it. No. <laughs> It'll come and look for you. I hope so. You're I hope it ready. finds me, man, honestly. But you're not ready. <laughs> the right bud coming along right now. What's your, oh, hiya. Excuse me. Do you mind if I put this bag of shite right fucking mm-hmm. next to me? Because this is a lot of crap. Mm-hmm. This is mine. This is my rubbish. And it's very nice to meet you. I'll entertain you. I'll be really good. But mm-hmm. please, didn't, didn't look in the bag of shite. Mm-hmm. I'll give you bits of it. And if it's that, whoa, you need to stop fucking giving that away. Because I'm not carrying Aye. it for you. The way you're going to find it. Get rid of that. Mm-hmm. Cut it off, sever it off, because it's no serving you. I mm-hmm. can tell you it's no serving you. Not I don't know how it. I didn't know how to get rid right of the now. baggage, honestly. You're doing really. it now, though. Aye. When you Aye. were talking to him in the caravan, mm-hmm. when you speak to me at any of the events that we've met on, mm-hmm. every fucking bit is a step towards finding who you are. Because yeah. I'm not impressed with you coming up and being a laugher or a joker, because mm-hmm. I can see right fucking through that. Mm-hmm. I can do that in the too. Mm-hmm. I want you to be honest. Mm-hmm. When you're honest and truthful with me, Guess mm-hmm. what? I'm a reflection of you. Mm-hmm. So you're being honest and truthful with yourself. Mm-hmm. Fuck everybody else. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Again, it's that same cliche. Shut your eyes. Mm-hmm. It's only you that's in there. They can't help. Your man's not even in there. Mm-hmm. How the fuck can she get inside your head? Mm-hmm. You invite them in. Mm-hmm. Chuck them out. Mm-hmm. If they're not paying fucking rent, get them me fuck. <laughs> Honestly. I like your style. It's there's nobody easy. fucking paying the rent these days. Exactly. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. There's, n- there's nothing happening. <coughs> so it's no working for you. It's no serving you. So Aye. you need to sever it. You need to cut it off. It's an umbilical cord that you've got an attachment to your mother. The relationship was soiled and done and dusted on the stairs that day. That was the whole point last year. Um, that was the whole point of going along to the thing. <laughs> And meeting Gary and everybody else mm-hmm. at the the filming thing at the college. My cousin Aidan had tried to, he knew what I was going through. He knew I was having a tough time. I mean, about four weeks before um, I went, went to this class at the college, uh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was ready to jump off that fucking M8 bridge so uh, at Blackburn. I was just going to just... Too easy, isn't it? Jump off it. I thought, fuck it. And then I said to myself, wait, then I'm too good looking to be splattered over the Boom. fucking M8. Do you know what I mean? I thought, no, fuck that. This is, God's taking his time to make this beautiful oh, face. Oh, he's wasting you know a mean? lot of time on so it. So I thought, well, I'm not going to allow that to happen. I'm oh, not yeah. like, Still <laughs> the last thing I want to see is some woman's <laughs> face on the M8. <laughs> <laughs> Do you well, know you, the last thing that goes through your mind is your <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> But that's uh, the best that you know aye, aye. you know the story you've already lived it you've read well, it everything that's there aye, that's it I mean I, 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 I've, I've, I've taken knives to myself I've, 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 I've uh, I do went, you want a badge for that one or no, a balloon no, no. you can have I'm either. not getting either for you're it you're not no. getting a cup there's no, no. no cup no no you need to who's not getting a cup <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking knock him out you'd need to have went off the fucking bridge and bounced back up to win a cup I <laughs> said <laughs> <laughs> doing it again, so, I mean, that's a fucking impressive jump that one <laughs> 
Aye, it's uh, just all the stuff I'm carrying. Do you know what I mean? It's like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm carrying. I'm trying. I try and I'll, I'll try and just to be comical and stuff like that around people, and and I'll always help anybody I can. But I'll that's all... the thing. It's the trying. Don't fucking trying. Just mm. be you. If they mm. don't like it, fuck off. Aye, that's you probably the hardest thing. I'll get difficult. Exactly. That's the hardest thing for me to be honest with you. But I can't even understand if somebody doesn't like me. Exactly, you know I mean? but you're, you're, you're analysing, like that's what, exactly, you're, you're analysing over overanalyze everything. Well, exactly, why? What for? I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's something that we do, and you see if you put that and channel it into something else, mm-hmm. then you work it out, mm-hmm. put it into a doodle. You like to draw, you've already told us. Mm-hmm. So you're giving yourself the clue, you just need to that's hear why it I'm, That's why I always write things down, and, and I've always got busy always writing and it. stuff like that. The thing I always find funny is you always get people, oh, you're writing a book, or mm-hmm. like, oh, you write all this stuff down and stuff like that. Let me see your poems and let me see your stuff. And yeah, I'm a bit reluctant, but then I'll go and show people, and they'll just be like, and they just put it to the side, like they're not exactly. even fucking interested. And it's like, draw them, the draw them a pizza, draw them a pizza, I mean? and just fucking leave them. Well, I'm getting fed up fucking people asking that shit because nobody wants to actually out read it or look at it. You know what I mean? It just seems to be said in conversation if everybody's all having a laugh and that. You know what I mean? It's you being able to show yourself. Mm-hmm. It's you know that whole thing, putting your heart on your sleeve, da da da. Because Gary Fraser done it. Mm-hmm. He done it with everybody's child. And he put it there. There was another one of the directors for Edinburgh. He'd done it as well. Mm-hmm. With Mum's birthday, I tell you, these guys are very admirable because you and I couldn't really do it. No, then, mm-hmm. but we can do it now, and we do it through art. If your your medium's art, it's no writing because mm-hmm. if everybody's putting it down and no paying attention, it's no verbal because they're no fucking listening. Do it in a drawing. Just mm-hmm. do a doodle. You're asking me to give you a doodle for your wall. Do you give me a fucking do- I'll exactly. Fuck it. You know fuck it. I'll do that for you then. Right. We'll do one each then. You did a doodle. I'll do a doodle what you are. Because it's as simple as you looking at me now. Mm-hmm. You can only see me, you not know, the way that I'm sitting in front of you. Mm-hmm. But when you look into my eyes, you'll see yourself because mm-hmm. it's a reflection. Because we've both walked a path that's very, very similar. similar. Mm-hmm. If I'm sitting here as calm as fuck, why are you not calm as fuck? I think it's probably just because it's the first time I'm speaking where I'm putting it out there that my mum done these things to me and that, that I'm... It's fucking bizarre, actually, because I will tell somebody if they actually were sitting there and we talked but now, about it. But now you didn't control who But now, aye, exactly, exactly, that's it. That's, but that's <laughs> the best part. Fucking hell. Hey. <laughs> you know what I mean? But Take I, top off, get ready oh, for action. Do you know what that fancy piece is? I better get his camera back on, did he go? Aye, here we go. They did do those, doodle the way, and they something that shows us who the guy is behind the facade, the guy behind the wall, and eventually once you find yourself and make peace with who you are, that would be the man and the monkey, then you will find the inner child. Well, I'm trying. Because he's be... there. He's still I... sitting on the stairs playing his action, man, waiting on you coming back because you fucked off and kidded on you with somebody else. Mm-hmm. He's waiting for you to go back. Aye, because I, like I said, I was quite scratching that earlier. I, was, um, I tried to have a chat with that lad. I was watching a TikTok or something that was just saying, like, speak to your inner child. Apologise to them if you have to, tell them, sorry I've left you behind. I've been trying that wee technique, do you know what I mean? But pff, I can end up just sitting crying in the house. Yeah, but you will find them <laughs> I end up a pencil. Just, end up just sitting in the house on my own crying. I mean, that's the bit, thing as well, like doing the filming and that recently. A uh, shout out to Gary Fraser, by the way. Hi Gary, how's it going? And everybody else involved in all that. It's been amazing getting to meet everybody. Um, before I'd done that, I was obviously going to jump off the bridge and then the next minute I'm finding myself on the set of a, movie, a film being made and then getting asked to go on to Gary's own film as well and being part of the supply and demand and, and being involved in that that day, making everybody laugh. It's been brilliant. Um, so I thought to myself, well, you know, if I'm going to get up and talk about it, I'm going to get up and talk about it and I'm going to go and say it and do what I can. And uh, I was what I was speaking with Jenny at the college and that as well. Uh, Think about maybe trying starting a dad's club or something like that, or looking into it, and and just like all the other guys out there that's all been left you know, through the courts and all the other systems that have just fucked them over. But well, we know a guy who's actually got this room thing and he does like podcasts and that. You, you can, <laughs> I think you fucking know. I think I do know. Well, get, the, get the guys also, and fucking here and talk about it and talk about the whole thing. That's <laughs> weird, isn't it? Uh, really that's strange. That's that's a he's guy fucking wide, does he? Went through. Exactly with women, mm-hmm. 
Oh. Who's wanting to start a who's forum? That? Forum for fathers. <gasps> right, okay. Imagine that. No, who knew, eh? Yeah. So here's my yeah. idea. <laughs> no, 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 forums for fathers was mine. You were going on about dads. Whoever there. I'm sensing a couple of whitos <laughs> opposite me here. They're just basically saying, Neil, we hear you, we see you, we feel you, bro. And uh, You want to start a son? You want to start something called anything to do with dads or forums for fathers I will back you all the way and help uh-huh. you I mean, and I'll, do it with you well I mean I'd rather do something with you to be honest with you because I'm a fucking Neanderthal when it comes to technology and all that kind of stuff like I can barely send an email do you know son can I tell you son see when you come in here that boy out there will do it all for you mm-hmm. Barry aye that's you good lad as well. it's here it's mm-hmm. already all you do is turn up more yeah. or less all this is already here mm-hmm. the cameras are the next so that seems but I'm sure that will come next as well I will I'm hopefully get asked to be on more podcasts and that, well, that'd be fantastic but let's, let's say the, oh, the wee boy at seven he's on the stairs and he's dead alright okay that's that fuck then oh hang on who is this oh <laughs> behind door number one here's Neil <laughs> singing and dancing <laughs> watch me spinning plates <laughs> now watch me jump off the plates because I can't spin plates anymore <laughs> you've got another fucking leasy life aye. kick it right in the hole oh I and day the whole time aye. get rid of the past because it's shite it's mm. not doing you any favours mm. you now know what what bits you can talk about mm-hmm the system, how it plays men, mm-hmm. how it provokes men to stand on bridges thinking mm-hmm. about fucking going over. Well, I mean, the best it is, or I wouldn't even say it's the best it is, but I was about fucking eight or nine of my pals have killed themselves. Um, you know, for jumping off bridges to hanging themselves. I went, that, that, listen, the independent way that they go is entirely mm-hmm. up to them. That's choice. That's their choice to do that. Mm-hmm. The fucking beauty that is the legacy that no, enough is enough. This has to fucking stop. Mm-hmm. The dark places that you've been inside your mind, you've managed to light up rooms, mm-hmm. which tells you you're a guiding light. Mm-hmm. These guys in darkness, they need to see you, they need to hear your story. Don't fucking hide for it. Then he, oh, I better know because I might offend somebody. Fuck everybody else. Mm-hmm. Get these guys that are thinking about that fucking M8. Mm-hmm. Get them before they even get near that aye, fucking aye, bridge. Aye. You, I know what you're saying. There's no point. And one of the guys that says to him, it's no Casey. Walking in another man's shoes, set fire to these shoes so nobody can walk Walking in them again. again. Ah, yeah, Definitely, hundred percent. I get what you're saying. So That's everything what I... that you've been through has mm-hmm. a fucking value that I can't buy, that James can't buy. Mm-hmm. You go in for nothing. Mm-hmm. That's perversion. Mm-hmm. That is absolute perversion. That, oh, wow, it came at, it came at a price, like, but who paid it? <laughs> aye, you I paid did. The price, aye. You, you're willing to give it away now, mm-hmm. hopefully, because mm-hmm. you can help that guy. Uh, well, I'd like to be able to help other people in this situation, to be honest with you. Aye. So are you dealing with it now, then? I am dealing with oh, it. sucker! <laughs> I'm trying to deal with it. You are dealing I'm with it, because you're talking it, about it. But, aye, but, you're moving away from it now. You're aye. actually thinking, whoa, you mean it's dragging me down. If I go up in that bridge, it's going to pull me right onto the fucking tarmac. Mm-hmm. Now you're walking away, you're getting a bit lighter. That you're actually thinking, well, I'm not going to wait, wait now. I'll help this guy first, and then I'll do it. Do you know what? I'll help the next guy as well. Just keep going that way. Keep walking away from it. Mm. It's that whole cliche of I'm moving trying, forward. Man, I'm, I mean, I, I, like I say, I agree you with you 100%. You turn up here so we know you're trying. I, I mm. definitely trying. I think the hardest part for me is loneliness. Do you know what I mean? It's like uh, doing these films and then speaking on the podcast and things like that. It's all fantastic. But then I'm going to go back home and empty house. Back to myself. Back to my own thoughts. Start drawing. And you know what I mean? Listen to your words. You're going back to your own self. Mm-hmm. You're a prisoner inside your own fucking head. Mm-hmm. Let him out. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the keys? Who's got the keys to the door? No, I've got the keys to the door. Of course you've got the fucking keys. Draw the fucking door. The doors and the doodles fucking everywhere. Well, that, 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 was, that, was, that was the point of actually starting the college thing as well was because the, I was talking to Aiden in the scheme the other day and he was like, I tried to get you involved in stuff last year but you never showed up. You and I wasn't went, ready. I wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. It was a fucking mess. You had to go Still a mess right head. there, you know what I mean? But In your head, you had to go to the M8. Aye. You had to go there because there's no way back until you've been to the fucking edge. You've been Aye. to the edge, you visited and thought, fuck that, maybe next year. Come back, do your bit, and then you'll find that no, 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 no. I will go back to them, but it'll be to stop the next guy going mm-hmm. anywhere. Fucking need it. Aye, aye. Just put up a wee barrier, no entry, fuck off. Go back, go back and look at what's behind you. Get dealt with, mm-hmm. get it to fuck because it's not serving you mm-hmm. and move on. <laughs> like Enjoy what's left. I like your style. Well, all I can say is I'm looking forward to this journey from here on inwards. Yay! Stuff. Meeting everybody through the college, meeting you guys mm. and, and getting involved with it. All. I'm really excited for that kind of stuff. There you go. To be That's what you can you. take back to your cell. Mm-hmm. And remember, you're not a prisoner and you can <laughs> fucking go out anytime you want. <laughs> Leave the door open. <laughs> Let people come in. Aye. Leave the door wide open, see where he comes in. 
They might come in and batter the show. You might come in and rape you. You might like it. it might be a wee dolly bird <laughs> saying, I've been wanting to come in here, but the door's always been shut. <laughs> what what is number four? <laughs> 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 oh, fantastic! I love it. I know, you never know, but I'm definitely looking forward to all the the, the future stuff. Like um, I've always been saying it for years that I wanted to take all the experiences I've been going through, and you know, <laughs> that's the bag you want to turn it around. See, see the bag of shit. people. The bag of shit. Empty the fucker. Get it all. Oh, guess what you've got? There's every bit that's inside your head is taking up space. Mm-hmm. You create that void. We talked about in the first one that we done mm-hmm. between ourselves. You need to fill that void now. Mm-hmm. It, it, Honestly, for the both of us, I know deep down in my heart, get that fucking pencil back in your hand and just draw whatever the fuck comes out. You'll find that you'll go like this. You'll hand the pencil over to that seven-year-old boy on the stairs and he'll draw you a fucking beautiful picture, Mm -hmm. a beautiful image that you can then say, thank fuck, he never Mm -hmm. got hurt during all this. Mm -hmm. I need to get that book written as well, finished, because it's it's just a big pile of notes and started and the chapter finished or there's a chapter unfinished and it's just a jumble fuck everything it's just all words and fling it fuck then fling it fuck start a new one mm. start, a new start one. again a brand mm. new one mm. who's this guy oh this is the guy that oh he was adopted he came up <laughs> here and his mum was a cunt his dad was a cunt and he'd done this and he'd done that and did it oh fuck him he's as born as far he's as crazy aye, as aye, fuck aye. what does he want a banjo or a balloon aye, or some, aye, aye. some medication World so what's he called Ritalin yeah that's it, double violence, <laughs> start a fucking orchestra. <laughs> or who's this guy, who's this guy? Who's intriguing strapping who's fella guy? here, eh? Who's this bubbly chap <laughs> that's entered the room Get on to been the dad's in the thing. movies? Get on to the dad's thing as well, start being a fucking dad's dad's aye, aye. Aye. You're passionate about that, I could aye. see the minute you mentioned it, it was like you fucking toughened aye, up. I just, honestly, I just... Your cousin's running a fucking thing. Mm-hmm. That could help Get you the facilitate the dad's mm-hmm. thing. I bet there's feathers in there that you know, know, that's Neil, what I'd like to try and do. Your fingers right. are already fucking half in the, they're, In fact, you're, you're fucking deep in the pie. Mm-hmm. You know, you've, your mates want oh, to help the world. Aye, aye. You know, his cousins want to help the world, so fucking... And your buddies got a place, and you've got other guys and you've got other guys, playing you know, things to you. Aye, 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 aye. aye. Do it. Aye. It could be an I'm amazing thing. So what if you have to walk along the road one day, because you've no got enough, a bus fare? Mm-hmm. It's going to let you think. What Jimmy, where are you? Think? Pick me up. Fucking Aidan, where are you? Can you pick me up? Mm-hmm. I want to come to the thing today. Any chance of swinging by? Mm-hmm. I'll walk as far as I can, catch me on the road. Mm-hmm. If God see you helping yourself, folk will fucking go aye. to help you. If they see you're just sitting in the house with your thumb up your arse, they're going to say, oh, well, I'm More away fucking doing that. Mm-hmm. Okay, what I mean? no, that's, so, that's been a good thing for, 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 doing, for, for doing the college thing and meeting you and stuff like that. Is everybody who was involved in the class and stuff like that as well, we've all been kind of keeping in touch with texts yeah. and stuff like that. It. So it's so, been a bit shit, yeah. like not seeing them. But I know I can just. But you know you're you never I'm, really on your own. Aye, no, I'm not, I know I could. I, I could, could have met you it. any fucking day. You sent me a text any of the days apart from one I was in Aberdeen. Uh-huh. I couldn't have met you that day. Mm-hmm. But I didn't want. I wanted you to come here and do this mm-hmm. first. Mm-hmm. Now we'll fucking meet you any day you want for a coffee. <laughs> now you've had extracted the goods. Well, we've no. <laughs> we've extracted. It's, no, it's, so. it's, it's you. We've got the extraction lever on, but the goods I think we're still to get. <laughs> what, 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 do we, what are we taking away? Well, I'll be taking my t-shirt and my fucking cup. Ah, I'll be exactly. taking this fucking book, that's for sure, and I'm taking that t-shirt. That's the one off, that, <laughs> that's an only that book. Is that you that's wrote see, that one as well? See the pile of shite that you've put on the table? That's going to embarrass his bucket, I'm because I that. ain't fucking taking it. It's the only thing I'm taking, and I'm only taking it out there and flinging it fuck, because <laughs> it's negative to me. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you right now, see I'm your not story. taking it to him to the boys. whole story. It's a lot of shite. Mm-hmm. It's fucking rubbish. <laughs> Absolute fucking rubbish, and it deserves putting the bin. And that's not a bit little you, by the way. See your future. <laughs> see your future. I'm fucking invested in that. Right. And when you want to buy any of that past, no, I don't want it fucking over me. Yeah, either, you know, exactly. Get it to fuck. That's it. No, but that's that's what I've been trying to do. Um, and I'm still trying, but I'm doing something about it, like you said, I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now today. I get it. Live on air. <laughs> Do you know it's what you did today? Bum, bum. You never sent a text saying, eh, I'm not sure if I can make it today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you never sent a text saying, it was, any chance you could pick me up, Paul? <laughs> oh, fucking course I'm going to pick you up. Any chance, eh? And then you sent me a text today. What fucking time is this? Okay, when are you coming <laughs> to get me? You know what I mean? I so, you're fucking you don't need it. You know what I mean? I've got a fucking schedule here. Exactly. Yeah. I've got shite I want ready. When you so get a casting ready, call, you get it. a casting call, be here at fucking one o'clock. Half past one. Fucking... What's this piss? You're lucky you bought me a hamburger, well, by the way. You're only halfway through a biscuit. Listen. <laughs> You've got to feed the animals in the zoo for fuck's sake. They'll get you fuck all but a bit of say leg. <laughs> <laughs> fucking 
fucking right, I'm feeding you. <laughs> Dish the dirt, I'll give you more burgers, like. <laughs> Listen, eh, there's a biscuit there. Crack That's on. The, the best, the nice best of your dirt is that it's, it's cleansing you. Aye. Aye. It's not cleansing us, no. it's cleansing you. And mm. we knew it. That's why I, I was quite happy to eat that bacon roll coming all the way back in that van. <laughs> I'm telling you, fuck all. I'll let James do the first 14, 15 minutes aye, aye. and say, mm. fuck all. Because I know that you're going to drop the facade at some point, and aye. then when you dropped it, boom, you stopped stop the fidgeting, you stopped the fucking the stuttering, and you just come out. Aye. That's what we want. I came out. Oh, hi, yeah. Oh, hi, boys. <laughs> I'm out. Then you do that, you'll get people talking about you. So I see what's this you've put in my mouth. <laughs> Camera. <laughs> This guy's alright. <laughs> I think he's broken. <laughs> broken but yeah. not forgotten. Norris McGuinter. <laughs> medication is what you need. I just got switched on to medication last week. Uh, tried it for the first time. Felt a bit funky. Not going to lie. Uh, Get it to fuck. That's what it's I okay. thought. I'm did really you need liking. it before last week? Well. Get it to fuck. You think you did. Because uh, you believed you did. And then some uh, can't tell you you did. I've always kind of resisted fuck. that kind of thing, but I'm waiting to get all this fucking test done for ADHD, bipolar. What was oh, what you oh, so nice. it's it's the funny, funny thing was, I was, I was away. Uh, I used to be in the army as well, and I was uh, I went to army psychiatrists. Uh, I was getting help through in Edinburgh. And... Yeah. Um, a doctor came in. Fuck their labels. <laughs> you don't need any I, labels. Uh, I agree with you 100%. I've just fuck. not got it tattooed on no, my body. Okay, but why, why do you want I spoke to a fuck about it, but I was just wanting to try and get some help and to try and figure out what the fuck this mess is. Do you know what I mean? Here it is. But you've already, help. You've already well, tell us. I've got a chapter there and I've got half a chapter <laughs> there. I That's like to draw. I want right. to tell you this. Draw it. Aye. Draw aye. it. Aye. 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 Skip all the words. Because let's be honest, if, if you sat down in the right frame of mind, you would write it. Word for word, what are we doing? Aye. Well, yeah, that's right. I was at the army thing, and there's, they, they arranged to get an army psychiatrist come in and see me. And the guy came in, I swear to God, he was there fucking two minutes, and I started talking to him. I must have spoke for about three, four minutes, and he went, oh, yes. How, how many times did he look at you yeah, when you walked in? It didn't. I, when we, we first no. walked in, made eye contact, and then he started looking and told him briefly a couple of things about myself. I must have spoke for about four fucking minutes, and the guy went, yes, yeah, sounds like you've got that borderline personality disorder. And I'm like, oh, fucking wait, the new I was watching a program a while ago and it was like patients in the, the psychiatric wards and all that with this BPD. And I'm PTSD. Thinking, and I'm like, what the fuck is this, CPS. man? This guy just wants to fucking, you know, just, how, can he, you. how can he tell that for just, no. you know, speaking to me for a couple of minutes? And I thought, mm -hmm. I'm a lot more complex than that, you know what I mean? And the fact that you're just wanting to just fucking write it off and there you go. The one thing you are is unique because mm -hmm. there's no many people survive as long as you. Mm -hmm. And up until the M8 conversation, you might not have survived, mm -hmm. but you have, mm -hmm. which makes it even more unique. Mm -hmm. So all the labels, the other badges, then you apply. There's no point sticking you on because you can go to one of them, he'll diagnose you with one. Go to the next one, he'll give you another one. Mm -hmm. How do I know that? Because I can do the exact fucking same. Mm -hmm. I'd get every badge available. Mm -hmm. Aye, I would as well. Mm -hmm. When, they, when well. it comes to the ACEs, the adverse childhood experiences, you'll tick every box. that They've, they've come up with a fucking box section. Aye. You'll write a paragraph underneath the boxes because there's not enough space. <laughs> it's how we deal with it. Aye. They've never dealt with it. That's they why I try and always be a bit fucking... <laughs> there you know, and a bit wacky but funny. But that's not saying it. We've dealt with it. They've mm. never. Mm. So we know how to masquerade. We know how to build walls. We know how to build barriers. The one barrier that you've kept, and it's fully probably... Old bits of bicycles, corrugated iron, timber, wood, everything, is that heart. Mm -hmm. It's the thing that you've never shown any of these females. They've mm -hmm. never got in. Because mm -hmm. you didn't even know where the fuck it is yourself. Mm -hmm. you got that mm -hmm. much shite in front of it. The chapters, mm -hmm. that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Start chucking them all. Right now, you're on, so you've gave away enough so far that you're building a path back to it. There's a cracking doodle, it. it's a corridor. And there's all this shite lined up the walls and up on the shelf. Like that we on here thing. That's where it is, this fucking gem that keeps us alive, this mm -hmm. thing that makes us get up in the morning. Stops me getting up. Exactly. Aye, I get it. It's the thing that stops you from getting up as well. Fucking making me sweat words. like the CSA's walking around. <laughs> Just <laughs> tell us the goddamn truth. Get a fucking story tell, motherfucker. <laughs> Know what I mean? He should have jumped on board and <laughs> says, you can't handle the truth. Yeah. I was too busy being selfish, sorry about that. You can't fucking handle the truth, so then you start <laughs> your bitch big <laughs> <out>. I like it. <laughs> fucking wind me up. Oh, I've got that patch. So what the pity you on for last week? Uh, uh, Pre-gabbling. Oh, oh wicked. <laughs> Pre-gabbling oh, for anxiety and things like that. Um, so I tried them last week. It was a bit fucking spaced out. 
Uh, aye. But felt better in a sense, I suppose. Do you know what it does? It's this. You've got two eyes. <laughs> One of them sees the road ahead. This other one's like the minority report. Mm. You can actually see your past. You can see your mind. You can see mm. it's just flicking like fuck. And what aye, that aye. does is it goes like that. Boom. Eye patch. like, hey, I feel aye, great. Aye, aye, I'm aye. seeing fuck all. The eye's still there. It's all still there. They tried, so to, put on, they tried to put me on tablets years ago and that. And I was, I, I was going back and saying that these were shit. And I'm feeling really quite out there. I tried and then they were like, too. try to put me on other stuff. And I says, look, I'm not going to be a guinea pig for you. And the doctors are just fucking Come back drug, they're just drug dealers themselves. They're getting a kickback for the exactly. fucking pharmaceutical companies. Do you know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> hang on. You, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, you you accidentally fucking show yourself with Demi <laughs> in front of 17 <laughs> motors. Yeah. Pick yourself up and shoot yourself <laughs> in the head. That's right. For the back. Uh, I've done that as well. Shot myself in the head before as well. That's <laughs> another story. <laughs> aye. Um, but, aye, so... Um, Right, I get what you're saying, man. I get the it. The medication is just it's another barrier it's mm-hmm. because you'll go and say, Look, oh, I've got all this fucking trouble and da 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 right, okay. Why didn't you st- take two of these? Let's see how you go going with that and come back. He's still I'm, I'm still the same, right? Okay, try another I two of these. By the time ones. you come back you've got to be like how are you feeling? You'll be like oh. drooling mess. Exactly. Drooling oh, yeah. at the side <laughs> of your fucking head and you'll be like, That works. Oh, yeah. Just keep coming back, fucking silly <laughs> cunt. <laughs> Two for a pound. Be enough for a month. See you at the end of the month. And we'll, we'll get another see wee. you in 18 fucking years Aye. when you're absolutely slaving out your cunt standing Aye. at a bus Talking stop shit. looking for your bus pass like that's, this. that's actually half the people I know, actually, that are sadly, <laughs> sadly, fucking... Sadly. You're that fucked. Most you're sure people I know are all fucked up on something Aye. nowadays. Do you you're that fucked. You're no climbing on neighbourage to jump Aye. off the cunt. The, the it's one, a shame to the see some of my fellow brothers and sisters out there that are just fucking messed up. Do you know what I mean? But that's it. People like yourself, myself and James that can and actually do something because the, the one drawing and it sticks out for a lot of people is the prison door mm-hmm. it's a cell door and it's got the padlocks on it it's part of the ones that's not there James it's, it's one of the ones that's going away oh. <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the back Malo of the car in the box no <laughs> no yet right. but you see the, the, the padlocks no padded enough ah, yeah. each padlock is the Valium it's Ritalin mm-hmm. it's whatever fucking mm-hmm. Mongo Dongs they're trying to give you it's right. cannabis it's all these things because see behind door number one mm-hmm. is what you're hiding for and every time you take them you're putting an extra lock on the door <sighs> my concern is that see when you're heading towards them mate you're not going to open that door mm-hmm. to let that out to find out it mm-hmm. wasn't as bad as you made it meds, the medication will no let you unchecked well it only started it's like the crypton factor I only started Can't last week on the meds uh, and I only took them a couple of times and that uh, so I'm no I'm just freshing the door with meds, to be honest with Fling you. So it to fuck I'm kind of like, um, to fuck. I've always been dead against them. Come on, day. Go and sell it to some cunt so no, you can get the boss. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's promote drug dealing. No, the good old days. If it's not working for you, it never worked for me. If it doesn't work for you, why the fuck would it work for somebody else? No. Excuse me. <coughs> no, I would, I would name, no, no, I fucking no. get it in the nearest Again, bin. If it's working for you, by all means, but fucking please, then you become reliant on it. Because no, no. You see what you're hiding from. No going away. Well, that it's was the only reason. The that was the only reason I was refusing to take meds as well, was because I was scared that it changes who I am, how I think, and how I act, and you know, coming exactly. across funny and stuff like it's that. It's going to alter your mind. Neil, there's water there. there. There's water if you're wanting a drink. It's not going to change <laughs> your mind. Highland Spring. Stolen. Stolen. Is that advertising? Stolen. Oh, I hope oh, so. Shit. Endorsement. Uh, Aye, come on, day. Highland Spring. Maybe Give one a day. shout here. Do an advert, Neil. I'll put the camera <laughs> on you. There you go. Highland Spring for those who talk pish and like a good drink after it. Brood and Scotland. See what 12 <laughs> weeks <laughs> See what 12 weeks of Gary Fraser does. Fucking hell, eh? <laughs> Gets us all fucking dead. I wasn't, I wasn't even there for 12 weeks, actually. Neither was I. For fuck's sake. I was, my cousin says, he says, you weren't even there the whole time. No, my, uh, no, Ed and his brother Shane, he was like, uh, you weren't even there the whole time. You still managed to bag a fucking part in that film. I was like, <laughs> I, well, I was so excited about that, right? That's off. the best thing is to keep reminding uh, yourself that <laughs> certainly... This place, Livingston, Blackburn, oh, the grey area, Gary we all need people like you. Aye, Everybody does. Aye. Society needs you. Hundred percent. I appreciate you saying that, man. Because sometimes it, I fucking didn't even need myself, and I think I didn't need myself. Do you know what put, I mean? Listen, one thing you'll not get is me blowing your trumpet. Mm-hmm. No fucking danger. You no. need to pay me good money for that. One. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't need it. We just need to have faith in our own selves. And if I've done the path, and you're doing the path, and James has done the path, and Gary's done the path, and Aidan's done the path. Why am I not just all pulling everybody along the, the same what, thing? So all mm-hmm. these guys that stand at the bus stop, they're still fucking out their nut on shite. 
because they'll just no face the truth and mm -hmm. the reality that's in the back of their head. It's a lot of rubbish. It's just fucking rubbish. We're all it's feeling pain for, for growing up. Like, I know everybody's something got something very strange going, on. going on. But if mm -hmm. you watch the kids, unfortunately, the kids are getting labelled and medicated straight away. I know what's happening in their genetics. Their genetics is like, fuck off. Stop trying to teach me what you taught him. Well, the one thing I uh, really, one thing it. I end up getting fucking banned for my wife number two. She banned me for going to the the hospital where, excuse me, uh, where my son's who is going to be getting diagnosed with ADHD or autism and things like that. And then my third wife's trying this shit with my wee boy, and he was never autistic or anything like that when I left the house. We had a great relationship. And it's just for money. It's just for mere dosh, and she's happy to get rid of the husband, gets mere money for her, and then she also gets money for putting You're the weight on fucking it, medication and, and fucking going to the hospital. It, get, it gives get, them a conversation uh, point as well. I know my kids are autistic and shit like that. I, oh. once, I once watched my wee boy um, that I adopted, Aiden. I once watched him at the football, and he used to take a shot in, goals each, and he would be like fucking hyper jumping about. He's standing in the goals on his end, but he'd be fucking doing high right. kicks and shit. There's an reminder that I bought, oh, hello, his, I bought his chocolates. Fuck, how did you oh, get them in here? Where did you put them? You can. Were they in your socks? Yeah. Yeah. They've they been in that big they bag of shite <laughs> he's been throwing away. Ah, see what comes So you out. found them for Christmas for 84. Side. There he's going. <laughs> get, get the fucking sweeties, didn't you? Oh. I saw my wee boy Aiden, he'd be Seven. trying to stand in front of the goals. He'd be fucking jumping about daft. And then one day we went to the hospital and she says, eh, Doctor says he's got ADHD, oh. and I'm like, oh, I don't fucking. How does I the doctor know that? There, I, know. I was like, how the fuck? Where did they get that? <laughs> they had to put a I was like, what's going on? How do they know he's got ADHD? You only spoke to him for a few minutes. You fucking always kick off, so you do. Okay, what I mean, you, you, you don't know fuck all. You, fucking Freudian he's, bastard. He's a specialist with a fucking shirt and tie. Right. He must. He's know. got an education, fuck face. Oh, so what you, you fucking got? watch yourself. She's going to listen to this. <laughs> She's going to be like, oh, fucking <laughs> don't talk like that, you prick. <laughs> You'll be getting a court order, boy. I don't feel like that. <laughs> Fucking line them up with the other ones. Hi, <laughs> Rumble will be like, and you come, son. <laughs> we got the lawyer on speed dial. number 342. <laughs> got the lawyer on speed dial. Have I fucking said it again? And oh, that's that wife pissed off now. So uh, um, one day, uh, he's standing at the goals. And he's just stood there. Oh, he's just looking that's at the ground. Ritmal, isn't it? And I was like, I says, what the fuck's wrong with the wind? She went, oh, I, I wanted to try him on that Ritalin before he goes to start school. I want to see what, he's like, what he looks like on the Ritalin. I says, well, fucking look at him, he's standing in goals. I says, he's not even doing fuck all. This wee fucker's been on tablets for the best part of four, Guess five, six years. Guess what I give him for his tea now? Fuck uh, all and he's I mean, happy. He, he, he goes to school and he comes home and he sits in the house and he plays his computer oh, games and that and he's yeah, happy. Yeah, but I'm just like, man, he used to be a lot more jumping about and hyper and just... It's a shame. It's, it's kind of... Killed a bit inside them, I'd say. Do you know but what I mean? And that's it's where that like, naivety fuck. comes in because if we all educate each other, because that's two conversations, three conversations about the same fucking thing. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of a theme going on there, and it's no me, it's no you, it's not. It's a collective. Well, she came We're at me. Seen, it's a lot of shit. She came at me a few years later after I'm being on the tablets, and she's like, "Oh, they they don't think it's ADHD, no, they think it's autism and shit like that." You but, be, going, but unfortunately, well, that's the case. He's been on fucking tablets for all these years, that's a, and I'm getting the dirty. I'm getting the deaf look in St John's. Like you fuck, I'm not bringing you here again. She's got her boyfriend in the car waiting outside and, and all that. And it's like eh? fucking hell. We just says that in that last yeah. one there. And now you watch Barry these. Says it. Mm. He says that the the medication was wrongly diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And when it's wrongly diagnosed, you've created another fucking issue. Aye, aye. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because aye, now aye. they've become that way. Aye. They were that way in first. You've changed their opinion of something by, you no, know, mm -hmm. enabling it. All the ego, altered something in their head. The right. brain pattern's been altered because you've shut off that. I love watching the wee lassie weird neuroscience thing. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Rachel, I'm a neuroscientist, I'm, I'm Barry, I'm Barry. And she spouts this stuff and it's very eloquent and very fancy. We like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I'll, I'll keep listening mm -hmm. anyway. Talking about these things and what we found is that, but how do you find these things? How do you know? No, like, because obviously the, the first one is, the chemical imbalance of the mind. Mm -hmm. Do you know the best bit about that whole fucking thing? Ecstasy. No. <laughs> Speed. <laughs> Speed. Aye. They, they don't Cocaine. Know, they don't know what the fucking weight of chemicals is in your brain. So how can it be imbalanced? Aye. <laughs> if I take 15 grams of chemicals in my head, you might have a smaller or bigger capacity in your head. So if I'm 15 and you're 30, I'm running at 14, you're running at 10. Mm -hmm. How do you know? How do you get that right? There's, I... there's no balance. There's no balance because then you know, and that's if science was to tell you the fucking truth. Because I read all that when I done all this stuff, I wanted to know 
how they do this. So I went and done all the shite we, and the, right at the very bottom of it all. And every part of counselling and dealing and knowing and having a handle on mental health issues, all of them, the big boys, the bipolars, paranoid schizophrenia, all of them, at the bottom it says, although science is doing fucking remarkable things, we don't know fuck all. Mm -hmm. They know nothing of the brain, because your brain, my brain and James's brain, we function differently, we see things differently. You maybe see somebody hurt themselves and Fucking laugh. I'll fucking laugh. He'll be like, oh, what a fucking shame. What are you laughing at, you sick bastard? We have a sick sense of humour. Aye, aye. It's something that happens. Somebody jumps out and goes, like, with a gun, I'm going to fucking laugh. I'd imagine you'd probably be much the same. <laughs> Although, if your mad goes like that, you flinch. I'll aye, no flinch. Aye. I'll laugh. Aye. So we're definitely so. You never knew my mum, though. I mean, she is but is fucking. <laughs> but, that, but that's what I'm saying. You never seen my it coming like, you a fucking, you never seen the fucking punch coming, that's oh. for sure. Can we got dinged with things, honestly. Yeah, I, I would tell her, go for it, go for it. You she couldn't hit me because it never worked. <laughs> See, do you remember the wooden impressed. skulls? That's what I'm saying to you. Uh, See, the wooden skulls, my man, I'm telling you, man. You always knew when she was pissed off because you'd uh, hear the feet like slap, slap, slap. So she was in a good mood. <laughs> slap, slap, and then slap, 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 slap. slap. You're like, oh, fuck, run. But she it's just died up. It's when you had slap, she, thump, slap, thump. Th you know that one's angle. She'd die up. She'd, just, she'd, she'd line it up. Oh, there's that many comedians have done it. She'd flick this fucker right off her foot. Right round the fucking door. Right round the fucking nut. You were like, oh, oh you're We cow. used to have a, a shovel, not for the coal. Aye. Back in the 80s. I can't have that up the back of the car. Aye, aye. I would just laugh again. I laugh. Aye, aye. It's, it's, again, I have to use the, the perversion thing. I keep saying again. I, Again. 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 again the again. shovel, I'd have that. Everything. It doesn't work. It Aye. doesn't have an effect on me. The, the, the drunk we I referred to him was my father. The last time he punched me square in the face and he was booting fucking me inside of the chair. And my ma, fuck, thank fuck, she stepped in. Mm. She says to me, stop. Well, she says to him, stop. You're going to fucking kill him. And she says, she bent down. She says, are you all right? And he's obviously, man. Man. Um, <laughs> I said, it'll take me in that, can't he make me get <laughs> Well, listen, I can remember no sitting in a, a situation with my parents and I seen my younger brothers and sisters, my younger sister, tell my dad to fuck off or something like that. It was being really quite a wido. And I've looked and I've went, <gasps> what the You're fuck? You're going to get murdered. I was like, get over that table and fucking smack her one in the mouth. And my dad's like, no, nah, you can't do that nowadays. And I was like, <laughs> well, that's not fucking fair. That's what we need to go. Well, I'm fucking do you know what I mean? I've yeah. still got a fucking twitch in my eye for the last dunes, and that was years ago. And my dad's like, they're just going fucking phone childline nowadays. <laughs> I'm like, it's not fair because we really got a proper fucking dune. But then my dad says, listen, back in the day, no, we were brought up that that was normal. That was what we had to date our children. And I found that a better pill to swallow. Hey, you, you know can write I mean? into Jimmy Savile, <laughs> still get fucked. <laughs> 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 honestly, do that now, do that now. Aye, but honestly, God, Jim I was like, fucking this is fucking out of order. Like I said, this is pish, because I've still got fucking it's trauma for it. That's what I'm saying, you have to be able to understand that the trauma is there a fucking beauty in that aye, trauma. Aye. There is deep-seated love in that trauma, because well, you can educate so many people that that is wrong. Why? Because you know it's wrong. Because mm -hmm. you dealt with it, mm -hmm. you felt it. You embraced it, you carried it, now you're wanting to talk I'd about it. I'd say what it's, it's made me it. what I am today, do you know what I mean? At the end that's of the what day. I'm saying, that's I, the I weirdest thing in the world. I appreciate the value for that. I'd, see your ma, I mm. would fucking salute her, no bother mm -hmm. at all. My mum, for all her failings, taught me everything that I know by no damn what she done. Mm -hmm. So the way that she is, the way she was with this guy that came in, fathered some kids, even though I was in the head, then fucked off, remarried and left her as a single mother, and then mm. everything that she done in this same coping mechanism, mm. I'm very, very thankful that she done it all the wrong fucking way. Because mm. I'm no danger I'm going to do I, it that way. Because you wouldn't repeat it's it. I've always said that. You've got, the way I look at it, you've got two choices. You can either fucking repeat what your parents done to you or you can fix it. Do you know what I mean? Well, well, you can't fix it. Fuck all if you jump you off the bridge. No, that's true. And what's and the point? You knew. I never jumped off the bridge as what's well. What's the point of you me? learning that fucking lesson uh, to throw it away? To go and ruin Why this not beautiful face on the enemy. The only, the only thing you're going to fix is you. It's mm -hmm. only you that got damaged. Aye, nobody's fucking jumping in the door and helping me out in that way. Nobody can. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to. Mm -hmm. Every one of these idiots with their wee fucking mims book saying, mm, right, okay, let's try on this now. Let's try that. Let's try this. They have no idea what's going on inside your head. You're only telling them what they need to here and then they'll say tell me Neil do you think it, well I it's like the gender thing oh uh, when you were younger there'd be a male and a female and if you maybe were no sure mm -hmm. they say are you confused about your sexuality well maybe now 
Of course, I'm confused, mm. and I'm fucking straight because there's about 47 different varieties <laughs> of water can be. I don't know what one I'm now. There's too many options. What version of a pot noodle will it be this week? Exactly. You know I mean? Aye. So with, with, the, with the psychiatric world and with the, the counselling and everything else, they're, no, they're only going to get in to so the far. space that you let mm. them into. Aye, aye. And what I'm saying is that last corridor, that last door, that's where the real gemstone is. That flight case has got fucking so many nice things in it. James has got a utility belt. Pick through the shites and find the diamond. Well, that, that at the end of the day, I'm fucking fashion. here. I'm still alive and uh, I'm looking to write a book and make movies and meet draw new pictures. people and do podcasts and, and draw groups pictures. for dads and draw pictures. Yay! Talk shite, be dance. a comedian, do whatever I can do, really. I mean, at the exactly. end of the day, I think to myself, fuck it, if I was meant to have died, I would have died a long time ago. Okay. Do you know what I mean? There is a picture that's got your date of birth and your date of death on it. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck are you interested? Fill in the blank. Fucking Fill exactly. in the middle. <laughs> Life happens Aye. in the between. Between the day and the morning. Mm. So now. Aye. It's right fucking now. Living the keeps moment. Going. Yeah. Aye, well, I'd like to talk to you more about doing stuff like that. Uh, dad's club and things like that as well. Dad's. Dad's club. <laughs> Father's club. I must have a hang up about the word dad's. You know like the word dad's? <laughs> no, I fucking don't mind. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I mean. Forum you, for fathers. Oh. Dads, Dad. do's and don't squad. Oh. Get it down. Get it, get it, get it in the fucking, fucking Get it in the basket. Link in the bio. Oh, Old school carrier pigeon. Gold. There we go. I've got a nope. The pucker pad, by the, the way. The pucker pad. Is this more fucking you trying to pedal more merchandise? I'm pedaling fuck all, neighbor. I'm stealing <laughs> fucking content. <laughs> dads. Get that. Do's and don't. See, now that wouldn't have fucking come. If you hadn't have kept going on about uh, the dads. Uh, there you go. The do's and don'ts squad, did you say? Sounds good. The do's and don'ts squad. So you date and how you don't. Oh, so you it. know how not to date. He knows how not to date. See, the next guy that comes along, he's not going to fall for the same bullshit you pay the suckers fell mm. for. The next, if he's listening the next, anyway. The next, but yours are going to sit him down mm-hmm. and let him. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, you do your first one. Mm-hmm. Why don't you do a first brief half hour? I'll go sit outside and eat chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the do's and don'ts because I didn't get it. Listen, we can't put this out until we fucking email this to some cunt. Oh, I get it. <laughs> so this will get stolen. Right, okay. That'll we'll get, get nicked. nicked uh, yeah, that'll get that fucking way. nicked, by yeah, the way. Okay. Tell me. Well, I mean, I was talking to Jenny last week and uh, I got to meet uh, Margaret and that from the college. Uh, lovely lady and Anne and that as well. And Deborah for... Uh, Citizens advice Stop and stuff name like dropping. That. You're not getting a cup. No, no, no. I'm just the, these people have been really helping me. I'm like, no fucking name drop if I want. All right, these people have helped me. I'm fucking doing it. No, nah, but it's, uh, that's what got sparked the idea of my head last week. And all that was this so you know the dad's thing and all that and getting involved and stuff like that. Ask your cousin what I sent him about two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I'm not just telling you. Ask, ask him mm-hmm. what I sent him two weeks ago. Take the bull by the horns and just fucking go for it. Mm. Do it as soon as you can. Get it well, up that's running. Well, that's why I went and uh, got involved in the filming and all that this year. Uh, and then getting asked to go along, uh, supply and demand and all that as well. Uh, it was just, got to jump off this fucking bridge or am I going to go and see what my cousin's doing at the college? Or am I going to go and figure bridge, out, the bigger am I going to go and find out what this is and try and get involved in this filming and stuff? And then But see the bridge that you've jumped off nice now. Like I say, everything has a bridge for me. It takes you one side to the other. See the bridge that you're jumping off of now? Mm-hmm. There isn't a bottom to it. Aye. It's only when you decide, fuck this, I've had enough. Mm-hmm. You're going to find that there's going to be people there that's going to catch you, support you, and do everything to help aye, you aye. maintain you and keep you up there. Mm-hmm. It's fu- you're going to jump off the bridge with fucking helium. You're going to go up the way. Aye, aye. It's the only way you can go. Because you've been doing... Mm-hmm. When you're standing or, or sitting with that thought, hey, mate, bridge, I'm done. You can't go any fucking lower, trust me. Mm, All you can do is follow that through, but you know you've went the other way, so the jumping off the bridge, you went up the way. It's too much, it's just too much. It's too much fucking being down there all the time and trying to fucking pull yourself up. It's like, do you know what? I'm putting myself through all this as well. Uh, Time to just shine and have some fun with it, man, and fucking meet nice new people and and see where it takes us, you know what I mean? And it's, it's quite good fun being in the filming and all that, isn't it? As well, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah fucking good crack and think, good laugh. But I see, make a mean sandwich day, by the way. Ask anybody that's been in these films. I for fucking meat. I make, <laughs> I, make, I make a fucking mean sandwich. Fuck all for the veggies, though, I <laughs> No, I didn't have none for the veggies, but because there's nobody saying I'm a fucking fussy bastard and I'm a vegetarian. Can you bring me in a fucking veggie sandwich? Oh, fuck off. I hinted day one. 
<laughs> I go, fuck all day too. You know, I had about ten pounds in my name when I was away there running up the shop trying to buy fucking loaves of bread and cheese and everything like that just to make everybody feel I'm like, sure like your last happy fucking and tenor. Good, uh, your last it was tenor, my last tenor, aye, exactly. I'm not gonna lie. Exactly. Uh, but I mm. and the good thing about Gary Fraser's they stole my t shirt, so I can't wait to get that t shirt back by the fucking t shirt back you. There you go. Fucking Keep my tell. fucking t shirt back, Gary. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Got my name on it. Give you a shot of your t shirt and you've not handed it back, that's bang out of your order, bud. Uh, eBay. <laughs> eBay. Uh, uh, it's just an excuse to go He's meet him and see him again. Fund, and all by that. the way, a busy man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good excuse to wait and go and see him again and that as well. Like, oh, God, I don't need that t-shirt, man. You want not need me in a film. <laughs> um, I say, I'll call you a cheeky bastard. <laughs> Can I put you in the movie? I'll put you up on the big screen, you bastard. <laughs> oh, for a t-shirt. You want a t-shirt? <laughs> I just fucking, I've loved every bit of that experience, by the way. I'm not going to lie. It was amazing. Isn't it amazing to play a part to realise that you have been playing a part? Oh, I. I say that quite a lot. It's Every a day we're all actors. We're all 100%. actors because we're all fucking going out with a smile on our face or Kidding, hiding behind on. closed doors and just sitting there going, oh, I'm happy. And then in the house you're like, fuck, I'm not happy at all. That's it. That's you what I mean. But the difference is I'm doing something about it, like you said, you know what I mean? The do's and don't squad can sort that out amongst we're yourself. Fucking, well, especially when it comes we. to absent kids. Especially if it's new, through no fault of your do's own. Do's and don't squad. That's brilliant. It's man. works. Dad, That's what I'm saying. It's cost him squat. financially a lot of money. Well, not me personally, but the well, yeah, yeah, no, the, the man, man yeah, fucking, the fucking thing idiot. Ended up paying it. That's the thing. He steals his own money back and thinks he's won. <laughs> <laughs> but it's yours in the first place. You uh, dumb fuck. Oh, fucking me. Uh, no, we were all born fucking butt naked. Unless uh. you come in with a pair of jeans and Gary's t-shirt on. No, nope, we were naked. <laughs> That's so you, no Gary's t-shirt. You never had any But you never had any pockets. The, the big clue is you never had any pockets, so you had nowhere to stick your money unless it was up your ass, and that's where man can put it. Aye. Doesn't it fucking serve anyone? It worked for you the day that you made sandwiches, it worked for everybody else. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it. Sharing mm-hmm. is caring. Aye, that's the way I've always been so like that. How you've you know been treated through the mm-hmm. system regarding children, him, you just can sit down and work out. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm fucking lucky in that sense. I got lied to by a snake, and that was it. Mm-hmm. It bit, was it saying? Nah, not really. I've just not had any joy with the women at all in my life. Like, I no, just yet, no, yet, no, yet, until you yet. find who you are. I'm fucking 50 soon. <laughs> what age were you when where you found you? it? Where are you? 40 fucking nine. 48, 49, two I'm years f- ago. I'm 51, two years You're 51? Ago, I'm 50 on 49. Christmas Day. Oh, wow. I yeah. ain't mine's a hard way. Christmas Day this year. I'll I've fucking searched and searched and searched for a long, long time. Mm. Never thought I was even deserving. I think it. I have met my soulmate, to be honest with you. Good, I think good. I have met them. Keep but we're not together. Uh, we're not together. No, yeah. I bet you want to meet Early maybe. days. But we'll see. Well, let's no, see I mean, what you do because you're not being done. I'll say that much. Well, you've met them. Aye. Now you've got to play to get them. Mm-hmm. You've got to make them want to <laughs> be beside you. How mm-hmm. much more attractive are you without the bag of shit around your leg? Exactly. Probably a lot more attractive, I would imagine. How much more attractive? Sexy. I don't know. I'm quite liking the look at you already. <laughs> Bounce, bouncing about in the bed, <laughs> bagless. I'm pretty sexy, but with this baggage, I probably am not that sexy at all. But we'll see. <laughs> you've not I'll got the big bag now, I can tell you that aye. right fucking now. When I'm you eventually see this, oh, aye, you lassoed that to fuck. <laughs> Get it to fuck. You but listen, you, you made a good point there, but I'm not trying to bring this back down. You made a good point there, which I really like, and that was the fact that what do we do at the end what do we do at the end of the filming thing and stuff mm-hmm. like that but you went on and you did something else mm-hmm. you went to gary's thing mm-hmm. so th- this, there's no need for that to stop i'm not saying go and get photos yourself make yourself a superstar mm-hmm. but now we've spoke we can do the dad's thing at some point mm-hmm. i'm busy some weekends but there's days through the week mm-hmm. you said you're not working now so well i mean i showed up today the monster within uh and was at the farm i, I took blankets in the car extra jackets Scarves, <laughs> fucking hats, hats and fucking sandwiches, everything. and Gary turned around and just went, "If you fucking show up with that attitude, you should be coming along to supply and demand as well, and all that." And I was just like, "What?" So and if I did. hadn't, I made the sandwiches just because the day. kindness in my heart, because that's who I am anyway. The exact same it's led as to that. said, that, no, and that's where I can vouch for it. That it's <coughs> not a lie. That when they were doing supply and demand at the the meat factory place, there was cliques of guys. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm no faulting anybody else, but you come in and done that same thing Mm -hmm. and you pulled the people into a circle. Mm -hmm. And that's what has to be done. Mm -hmm. It's the same as your dad saying, if it goes ahead, nobody should be alienated. No, nowadays. Mm -hmm. Fucking enough's enough. Nobody should be thinking about an enemy. Did he do the same at fucking... Exactly. Exactly. I just jumped right in the middle. There comedy, guys there. There was fucking. Yeah, no, com- <laughs> I didn't mean comedy. no comedy, but fucking gold. 
<clears throat> it's gold or foot the comedy. Right, so now take him back to the seven-year-old laddie dealing mm. with other shite. That's what, that's what trauma can do for somebody. Mm. Uh. It can pull a fucking room together. That's weird. Go and get the educated guy to try it. Aye. No, no, I know. Uh. There's not many work. That's like you, you, there is no college course for that one. I can fucking no. guarantee you aye, that. Aye, aye. They can try, but you know you're serious. You're watching it, mate. You're like, fuck <laughs> fuck TV, you're like, oh, fuck shit, you know, Like you're saying, you have, <laughs> oh, I was in the board world. I wasn't really in the board world. I'm going to bore the fucking lugs over you, though, son. <laughs> and you're going to believe it. Like, I, 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 I believed any shit my granddad used to tell me. I would just believe it, you know what I mean? Because I just, the, the guy was my hero. It could be an hero. inherent thing. It could aye. be an inherent mm, thing. It doesn't matter what you're saying, but it's the barriers that you're breaking down. Right. You know what a barrier is, so you also know how to deconstruct it. Because mm -hmm. you constructed your own one, you know how to take it, dude. Mm -hmm. Which is fucking fantastic. It's just you realising it. Watch what you do. Rewind it. If you could, if, if Gary had filmed you and what you had done, you could watch it back and say, fucking hell, that is, that's right. Look yeah. at what I've done. I've just pulled that one. Because each guy is standing where we barrier up and they're looking over the top like, I don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. Can you see anybody? No, I don't know who the fuck he is. Mm. You come in, bang, the barriers are down. Oh, hi, 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 hi. They're it. I, I mean, uh, very unique. What an experience. I can't wait to be involved in more films, that's for sure. Well, Hopefully get yourself through there and that four poster. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Livingston Nights with Neil. Come and join me on the big boudoir. Sexy. <laughs> Here I'm in my wife front and I'm sexy. <laughs> Smothering my cellum celebration, sweet. Get the chocolates open. You want anyway. them open, Come on, get them get open. open. Let's get Fuck fucking sake. fired into them. They've got fucking super glue on them, you miserable bastard. Aye, that's because I stole them at the shop. They're probably a fucking display or oh something, do you know God. what I mean? Get in a bit. Oh. The biggest fucking guy in the room can't even open the biscuits. Oh, I'm not opening I'm fucking tearing <laughs> Oh, oh the milky bars are on me. Monkey power. I'll leave a bounty, please. You go first. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This cunt's fucking like stole coconut. my thing. He stole my thing. Does it taste Perfect. like coconut? Peach. Yeah. Does it, it taste like coconut? Ah, it tastes like coconut. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, now that took ages, man. That was Fuck, I was almost to the point of getting annoyed. I was like, ah, it tastes like of fucking coconut. It's a fucking pasta. bounty in your bar that bag. Was, that was a Burns joke for fucking years ago. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor, my fanny smells like coconut. coconut. And he says, ah, it's bounty. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> David, David does it all the time all Neil. The time. every <laughs> fucking time Neil falls for it <laughs> not that Neil that. no way that's the first time you've heard that that's the first time I've heard that that's bounty what was that mm. that was a funny was, noise well, <coughs> you can play fucking oh, jingles join your band that was his neck and elastic snap in there at the jokes I'm the woman oh yeah bastard we're jamming oh it's very aboriginal isn't it can't stop it like what were they playing <laughs> Pod Springs. I'm getting the rhythm. Jump on my kangaroo down. Sounds like the jungle fucking drums. <laughs> Wait, enough of that. Pish. Barry Gadget, nice are, we Listen, are we carrying on? Are we keeping going? I'll keep going if you are want. Gonna, eh? are we, uh, what do you want to do? You just want to push stop or you just want to get up? Or um, just... That'll be five time. break or whatever time, it is. Time you... is five to four. Well, we I've didn't love this all day. So, right. Uh, in fact, I'm sure I says to him nine till three. Well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward five, to... It's five to fucking four. I'm looking forward to future projects, put it that way. Dads. Future and dads. Future dads projects. Future projects with everybody I've met so far. Right. And you're screaming. Um, and and mm. I... Get to as much of like. that shit as you can. What's that? Get to as much of that <laughs> shit as you can. What? The screenings, fucking... Uh, Imagine what you've got to be like at a... A screen and a vent. Mm. You mean watching ourselves on the fa ah. I, that's I'm looking forward to that. And putting every other fucker at ease. I'd yeah. just like to say a big shout out to Ray Ray and JJ, on, by the way. Right, there you go. A big shout out to Ray Ray and JJ. They know who they are. That's not their real names, but they're fucking all right, lads. How's it going? Cool. Thank you very much. I thought I'd mention that there. Otherwise, they know where I live. <laughs> and I can't have that. Fucking Wendy's getting panned in at two in the morning. Like, we fucking mentioned me in your podcast, you prick. Your daughter. You know what I mean? I fucking you promised me. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I tried my best. I just forgot I was nervous. You're going to blow the fucking bastards? ears off the fucking <laughs> shouting at the mic. I can't. It's went up to about, right about ah, 20 well. fucking times. Fuckies. Fuck em. <laughs> Who says you could close that packet of fucking celebrations there, by the way? Right. Listen, what for me, <laughs> gentlemen? One hour thirty minutes or one hour twenty-seven? Woohoo! Well, twenty. Sorry, everybody, if you could sense the nerves in that. This is uh, no easy, but it's done. Uh, 
It's out there, and listen, I appreciate you getting out there. I knew you would. I said to him in the van, watch. And you've done it. Uh Done it in the ball or two. Well, hopefully we can do more. And realistic, realistically, what have you fucking said to offend any cunt? Mm. Fuck off. Well, was it fine to it? <laughs> but you know as well as I do, the truth really punches cunts right. right in the guts. That's well, I knew that. I knew that. The minute, I knew that. You've, you've, you've had the doing. I knew that the minute I was getting. I mean, that's only one story. This shit went on for years, Kim. I mean, there's fucking millions of stories. Exactly. But at the end of the day. That's not even the one to you me. told me. You I, never told me that one. You told I mean, me something different. It happened and it's happened, but at the end of the day, I'm still here to talk about it. Do you know what I mean? That's if it needs to be spoken about, Aye. Yeah. if you need to get rid of the rest of it, peripherally, well, you can it's my fucking, but it's my baggage. I want to get fucking shot at. It, do you know what I mean? I've been the one carrying it about all these years. The best bit is if you do go doing the doodle, the book, whatever road you go on. Now, well, it's, but what I'm saying to you is, see, now that you've you've created that void because you've let something out, mm-hmm. you've now got a bit of space to be able to set that paperwork out and start doing. Chapter well, one. I need to fucking teach all these assholes how to write a proper book. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, me, it's got to be done. There you go then. Fucking educate, that in educate, itself. educate. That's it, right? You know what I mean? <sighs> got to go through it to get fucking over it. Eh? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, you've got to be in it to win it as well. Is that no? Right, I'm playing a zoop with my jingle. I'm stealing this one. The Fly Fifers. Get this in. episode was sponsored by UnitedSkates.com. Skating in Scotland. That's it. Some cunt's got to pay for all this shit, aren't they? Uh, hey! Anyway, you over to Al, your camera. Oh, toodle pip for new, and thanks to you for <laughs> popping along. Over to Neil, your camera. Toodle pips, and thanks for having me to you too. For me to you, to you to me. Fuckies. <laughs> <laughs> Adios, amigo. <laughs>